In this video, I'll show you how to create a very simple podcast using Audacity. So this is a free download for Windows-based PCs. Great little piece of software for audio editing. So if you're into this kind of thing, this is something you're going to want to download onto your home computer. All right, so this is Audacity, the basic interface. And uh, if you have any experience with recording anything whatsoever, then you'll know exactly what to do. Uh, the big red circle button is record. So the first thing we're going to do is just record the narration part of your uh, podcast. So you should have already written your script. And uh, at this point, when you're ready to record, you just click that red circle button. So I will click that and just record some nonsense here. Isn't it a lovely day? The wind is blowing and we are having a good time. All right, so I've got... Uh, my audio recorded, I just clicked stop when I was done, and you can see that audio here, the sound waves of it, uh, recorded on the audio track. So I've got my track over here, I can see, um, I can name it if I wanted to, so I could call that narration. This is not stuff you have to do, but if you end up doing a lot of audio recording, it might be wise to start naming your tracks and kind of know what you're doing. Notice it says here that we're using mono sound, so I'm circling my mouse around that right now. That means that there's just one track of audio rather than a duplicate, which would be stereo sound. We kind of want to stick to mono sound on a podcast like this to keep the file size down since we're going to be embedding it in our class websites. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is import uh, a sound effect or a piece of music to serve as my intro and outro. And you can uh, either have intro and outro on yours, or you can have sound effects or music throughout. It's up to you. So what I'm going to do is come up here to project. There we go. And I'm going to choose import audio. And I'm going to choose some music that I've already saved on here. So I've got this short flamenco music that I used on my Spanish podcast. Now notice it's brought it down here on this second track and this is in stereo. You can tell by the two tracks that are going on here, okay? Now I don't want this entire piece of music. This is really long for an intro outro. I'm only asking for a minute long podcast from you guys. So to have a 15 second long intro outro, uh, put that on the beginning, put it on the end, that's 30 seconds. And that's really kind of ridiculous, so don't even try it, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and select, oh, let's see, I could play through it, let's see. I can solo this part so that I don't hear the other part. Play it really quickly. Okay, so I like how it kind of fades out here at the end, and my loop that I've got going on starts right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that last little bit, and I'm gonna copy that. All right, now I'm gonna unsolo this piece of music. I'm gonna put my cursor right at the very beginning of my recorded audio here, and I'm gonna go ahead and edit and paste that intro on there. And then I'm gonna put my cursor down at the end, and I'm gonna edit and paste it there too. Now I can just go ahead and delete this extra track. I don't need it anymore. If I bring my cursor back to the beginning and play it, Day. The wind is blowing. Okay, so you can see how that works. Now I want to get rid of this center section. There was some extra stuff in here, some extra time. So I'll just do an edit and a cut, and that takes out extra space. When I'm all done, I want to save my project. So I'm going to go in and save my project, but then I'll also export as wave. And that will allow me to then um, use it as an audio file in a variety of different venues. That's really it, guys. We're creating a very simple podcast here, so you're done.